Monday morning, when we were back at school. You're so amazing, Kazaki-san! You saved a boy from drowning in the river, right? Oh, weren't you scared at all? Um, when that happened, I was just focused on saving his life, and... Wow! I heard people talking about how much of a kind person you are, School Queen B. Kanzaki-san! Um, maybe I would prefer not to be called like that. <laughs> One of my classmates, Megumi Kanzaki, was surrounded and being praised by all the other classmates. Apparently, she saved the little boy who was drowning at the river, and the rumors got around during the weekend. I, Hideo Kage, quietly walked behind the pile of people, and went to sit down at my desk. Morning! Huh? What happened to you, Hideo? You got a band-aid on your forehead, and you generally don't look very well. My only friend, Tomoeda, was worried about me. He's a nice guy. I just fell. It's nothing serious. <coughs> You're coughing. I'm gonna bring you to the school infirmary. I said I'm okay. This is not- <laughs> Well, at least you should put a mask on. Here, I have one for you. <sighs> You're always prepared for these kinds of things, aren't you? Thanks. No problem. That band-aid on his forehead. Could he be? After school that day. I was feeling drowsy while walking back home. Kaganokun, I would like to talk to you about something. Can I have a minute? Huh? Kanzaki? About last Friday. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. See you. Hey, wait! Right at that moment, I felt dizzy for a second. I couldn't see who was in front of me. Oh, no. My body temperature must be going up. Hey! Kaganukun, what happened to you? Hang in there! Oh, I'm fine. Kaganukun! <sighs> oh, the ground feels nice and cool. But wait, how did this happen to me? As I was losing my consciousness, I thought I was hearing voices of Kanzaki calling my name from far away. Now, I'm in my dreams. This must be part of my memory. Last Friday after school. It was raining heavily when I was walking home. Suddenly, a boy who was soaking wet came over to me and stopped me. Mister, please help us. Uh-huh. What's wrong? There's a young lady drowning over there. A young lady? What? I fell into the river and she helped me, but now... She's the one drowning! Is that it? Yes. All right. Now, can you go find some grown-ups to help her? What are you going to do? You don't need to worry. I'll be able to help her. I'm going to hand you my cell phone. So can you call an ambulance too? Okay. Great! You're a big boy! I was able to pull her out of the river. That wasn't the only problem. Hey, are you alright? Wait! Kazaki? <sighs> I was so caught up in saving her life. But now I've realized that that young lady who saved the little boy was my classmate, Kanzaki. She needs to be resuscitated. But should I actually do it? I had to perform CPR, which I just learned in school, but won't Kanzaki and her friends be mad that an unpopular kid like me did it? <laughs> no, there's no time to think. I quickly unbuttoned her shirt and tried giving her a cardiac massage and artificial respiration. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on! Please! Breathe! <sighs> I kept on performing CPR and... <laughs> yes! <sighs> Kanzaki came back to life, and I kept on talking to her. I kept cheering her on, and finally, I heard an ambulance coming this way. <sighs> Great! You called the ambulance, huh? Yes. Uh, how is the lady doing? No worries. She'll be fine. 
I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, by the way, can you keep it a secret that I saved this lady? Huh? Why? Well, it's complicated. It would also be better for Kanzaki too. For her not to know that it was me who was the one who performed CPR on her. Oh, I get it. You're a hero, right? Huh? A hero? Dad told me heroes save people behind the scenes because they can't reveal their true identity. Tell me, you're a hero, right? Uh, I'm... I'm just an unpopular high school kid, but... Oh, whoa! How did you figure that out? You got me. <laughs> I knew it! You're so cool! Um, but this is a secret just between the two of us, okay? Yes! I told the paramedics what had happened and quickly got out of there. They were worried about the scar on my forehead, but I told them that it was nothing serious. And when I woke up, I was looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. Kaganukan, are you feeling better? Huh? Where am I? We're at the hospital. You suddenly fell unconscious, so I was surprised. Oh, that's what happened. Now I remember that we met on our way home, and I fell to the ground. Are you really okay? Your temperature surely has gone down, but... Sorry for causing you trouble. I'm all right now. There's nothing to worry about. I'm happy to hear that. Thanks. After all... You really are a kind person who helps out everyone, aren't you? <gasps> what? Nothing. I rested for around two more hours, got an IV, and it was time to head home. When I left my room, I found Kanzaki waiting for me in the lobby. Were you waiting for me all this time? It's become pretty dark outside. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks. But you shouldn't keep your parents worried like that. I already told them that I was going to be late, and I was worried if you had really recovered. Okay, well, sorry about that, but I'm really fine now, so... Wait a minute, I'm going to walk you home because there's a chance of you falling unconscious again. No, you really don't have to do that. I insist. Kensaki was pretty stubborn. She was going to tag along no matter what I said. She already helped me so much, but I decided to let her come along. If that was going to make her happy. And now, on our way home. Um, I have something that I wanted to ask you. What? Uh, about last Friday. Uh, could that be? Where were you on that rainy day? Me? I went straight home after school. Really? Really. Hmm. Okay. Did she somehow find out that I was the one who saved her? No way! She was totally unconscious when that happened, when we arrived to my home, but... Let me in. Um, why? Kaganokun, you live alone, right? Um, yes. But how do you even know that? I heard it when the nurse was on the phone with your parents. They were saying that they lived far away so they couldn't come. Yes, that's right. So I decided to cook dinner for you. No, you don't have to. I'm going to. Uh, Kaganokun, you take a rest in bed. Kanzaki didn't listen to a word I said. Before I even noticed, she was making herself at home. It's quite messy in here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I never thought I'd be having visitors. Not at all. I'm the one who barged in. But now I think I have to clean up before the cooking. Huh? I was forcefully put to bed, and Kanzaki started cleaning my room up. I knew she was the type that couldn't resist helping other people. But why would she do this much for me? She told me to stay lying down, but I feel bad for her. I mean, really, I think I'm letting her do too much for me. Could she have actually found out that it was me who saved her? Does she feel like she owes me this? I wonder how she's going to react if she ever finds out it was me who resuscitated her. She mustn't like it. Being touched not only by a classmate, but a gloomy one. I should keep this a secret. At the moment, I happen to see Kanzaki bending over. Ah! Oh no! I saw inside her skirt! Kanzaki seemed to have not noticed, but I quickly looked away. Gosh, she shouldn't be letting her guard down like that in a guy's room. After a while, Kanzaki made me some porridge, but... Say, uh... 
No, I can eat it myself. No need to be shy, just eat it. Okay. Ah. Uh, mm. How does it taste? It tastes like porridge. <sighs> because it is. After she made me eat the food, she cleaned up the dishes and went home. I stayed lying in my bed, thinking about her. She surely is a good person, and she likes to help others. But I should probably leave her alone from tomorrow. I decided so, and went to sleep. However, the next morning... Morning, Kaganukun. Uh, Kanzaki! Surprisingly, we bumped into each other. Or rather, she was probably waiting for me to pass by. Uh, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling better, thanks to you. Your fever seems to have disappeared. Oh, yes. Let's walk to school together. That way, I'll be able to help you if something goes wrong again. Um, okay. She really can't stop helping others out, huh? I had no reason to say no, so we went to school together. Um, Kanzaki? What? You don't need to worry about me. But I'm worried about you, Kaganokan. Why? Because <laughs> your room is so messy. And you probably don't cook properly and you're eating ready-made foods only, am I right? You can't be living like that just because your parents aren't around. That's why you got sick. <sighs> Sorry. All right. That's the reason. Uh... And therefore, I will be coming home with you after class today. Huh? But why? It was pretty late yesterday, so I couldn't use the vacuum cleaner. I have to clean up properly and... No, I'll be able to do that myself. No, your fever might have went away, but don't forget that you just got out of the hospital. You have to take it easy, and I'm gonna be cooking too. Huh? If you really don't want me to come, you have to tell me the truth. Huh? What do you mean, the truth? The truth means the truth. Uh, I, uh, I wonder what you're talking about. <laughs> Nothing, forget about it. Anyway, I'm going to be there this evening, so be prepared, okay? How am I supposed to prepare myself? And the truth must mean that she... Eventually, we arrived at school. As we entered school together, we are getting a lot of looks, but Kanzaki didn't seem to care about that. Hideo! I heard you came to school with Kanzaki-san today. Yeah. Why? Are you two in a relationship? No, that's not it. But she does kind of take care of me. Why? Well, it's about what happened yesterday after school, but I didn't want him to think much of it. So I told Tomoeda about what happened the day before. I see. So, Kanzaki-san saved you, huh? Yeah. And she came to the hospital with you, right? Yes. And she came over to my place, cleaned my room, and cooked me some food. Isn't that... No, never mind. Anyways, how did her porridge taste? It tasted like porridge. Hmm. I should have guessed. While I was talking with Tomoeda, Kanzaki came over to us. Kaganokun, do you have a minute? What? I forgot to ask you, but can you come to the rooftop during the lunch break? The rooftop? I made you lunch, so let's eat together. Lunch? Well, I usually eat with Tomoeda. Hideo, you should go eat what she made for you. You're fine with that? Yup. kanzaki san thank you for taking care of Hideo. Keep up the good work. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. What does he mean, keep up the good work? Wow. This is an outstanding bento box. Really? It's nothing special. Is this really all for me? No need to hold back. All right, if you insist. Wow, this is delicious. I'm relieved. I'm glad I woke up early to. Huh? You woke up early just to make lunch for me? Uh, no, I just packed in leftovers from yesterday. Now, uh, hurry up and eat. No, I'm gonna enjoy this to the fullest. If you like it, I wouldn't mind making it for you every day. I'm not asking her to do that much. We finished eating lunch together, and I asked Kanzaki about what was on my mind since yesterday. Hey, Kanzaki? Why are you doing all this for me? 
I'll be honest. I feel like you have something in common with the hero who saved my life. A hero? You see, on the day I saved the boy who was drowning, I also started to drown. Apparently, someone saved my life, but he left without saying his name. The little boy told me that it was a hero with a scar on his forehead. Is that so? I wonder why that person left without saying his name. You never know. But unfortunately, I'm not the hero who saved you. I'm just a regular, unpopular high school kid. Okay. I thought there was a chance that you were him. Sorry for mistaking you as him. Not at all. But what were you going to do when you met him? I shouldn't tell her it was me, because that would crush her dreams. Of course, I'm going to ask him to marry me. I want to be that person's wife. <laughs> That's a little far-fetched, isn't it? He saved my life. I decided that I owe my life to him. What is she going to do if she's already married to someone else? Hmm, but I do wonder if that hero is fine with how things turned out. What do you mean? Well, everyone thinks that I'm the one who saved the day, but... It's true that you saved the little boy's life. And anyway... It doesn't really matter who saved you, right? As long as everyone is alive and healthy. That's the only thing that matters. I did save the boy, but without him, I would have been... No ifs or buts. Nzaki, you are alive. And the boy is too. And that's all that's important. I guess you're right. On that day, Kanzaki came to my place, as she said, and she cleaned up my room. She also made dinner for me, but she told me that she was probably going to leave me alone from tomorrow. Probably, no, definitely. This was the right thing to do. However, a few days later, Tomoeda was all excited when he began talking to me, and everything about the situation changed. Hideo, check this out! Mm hmm? A YouTube video? What is this about? Wait! Tomoeda showed me a video of me saving Megumi's life. Someone nearby must have been filming everything. Tomoeda, how did you find this video? It came around in one of the group chats. Everyone in the class knows about it. And probably people in other classes do too. No way. Which means... Kensaki also must have seen it. It completely showed how I performed CPR on her. Now everyone in the class saw it. I thought I was doomed when I noticed that Kanzaki must have saw it too. However, once I walked in the classroom... Kageno! You're so amazing! Oh, wow! I didn't think you were such a cool guy! I'm truly impressed at how you saved Megumi-chan's life! Uh-huh! This really is amazing, Adeo! You're a hero! I'm... a hero? Many classmates that I never even talked with were surrounding me. I was scared to do so. But I slowly turned my eyes over to Kanzaki. I knew it was you, Kagano-kun. Whoa! Kanzaki! I'm so happy. Why did you lie to me? Oh my god! Wait a minute! Class is about to begin! We're gonna get married. Ah! Hideo, I know you very well. You must have been scared that everyone would be creeped out by you. No one's going to treat the hero who saved our school queen bee like that! Exactly. But mind you, Kagano-kun, you're only a true hero if you're able to keep Megami happy for the rest of her life. Indeed! I don't know how this happened, but people seem to have liked the fact that I saved Kanzaki and kept it a secret. And now, I have no room to escape. And on the next weekend? Hi, I came to be your wife. Huh? I thought you were joking. Is this for real? It is for real. Thanks for having me. Wait a minute. Okay, come in, and we're going to talk this out. Nzaki and I had a long conversation, and apparently, Megumi's parents happily agreed to have her living with me, once she knew that I was the one who saved their daughter's life. And my parents, too, were happy to hear that someone who liked taking care of me wanted to live with me. So, it was decided, officially, that we were going to live together. Ever since we started living together, Megumi did everything for me. I felt sorry making her do all the work, but she insisted that she wanted to do it, and I gradually began to like her. One month went by very quickly, but I hadn't been able to tell Megumi something very important. Hey, 
Megumi, will you stay by my side for a little longer? About how long? Um, perhaps lifetime long. Of course I will. Keep on protecting me from now on too, Mr. Hero. I feel a little embarrassed when you call me that. When you think about it, the real work as a hero is just about to begin. For starters, I decided to learn how to do the house chores to make it easier for her. Please, date me. I like you. No. B but As I went to school, I saw a familiar face on his knees. Karui, what are you doing? Can you not tell? You actually tried asking her out first thing in the morning? And Arya Shirasakura of all people? Arya Shirasakura is, simply put, a girl that has it all. She's only a sophomore, and everyone is looking at her. But something about her... Let's be real. She's not going to show up just because you asked. She's super cold. She actually has a pretty difficult attitude. Honestly, I haven't seen her hold a conversation with anyone outside of a work setting. She's pretty normal towards women. Yeah, that's why I have to ask her out when I can. I mean, that's not wrong. But you should be able to tell what she's going to say if she doesn't show up. Why don't you at least stand up? Man, I just want to skip class. Yeah, with your grades, it'll be unrecoverable. Then how low do you think my grades are? I know you barely made it even by going to summer school. Shut up! You're absolutely right. Don't get mad because I'm right. Look, that's not even a problem. Karui started getting mad about something else, but I ignored him and walked into school. Good morning. <sighs> it's been about a month, and I haven't been able to get her to actually greet me back. It's pretty tough getting along with her. The mood is so tense and heavy, actually. I want to smack myself for being happy that I got the seat next to her. I think that being able to glance over at her makes this a very special seat. I don't mean it in a weird way. You should understand what I mean if you're a man. I was really interested in her though, so much that I thought about these things all the time. I won't say that I like her yet, but I do want to get along with her. Then, one day... A kitten? Why is there a kitten in the yard? Oh, your foot is injured. <coughs> but, hey, stop! You're perfectly fine! <sighs> you don't have to be alarmed. It's fine. <coughs> Did you calm down a little? I started petting the kitten as it calmed down. I pet the kitten carefully without looking at its eyes. Hmm, it has a collar. It must be someone's kitten. I don't think it could have come far considering it's still young and injured. I should ask mom for some money and go to the nearest animal hospital. Hey, stop! Why are you acting up again? Do you understand the word hospital? <sighs> Apparently, this kitten doesn't like the word hospital. It's still so young. Michan! That voice. Where did you go, Michan? Michan! Answer me! Shirasakura? Why is she here? Oh, Michan! Wait, she's coming this way. Sorry, that kitten is mine. Huh? Oh, this kitten? Yeah, I brought her to a nearby hospital, but... She managed to run away even with an injured foot. Ah, I see. Well, here she is. <laughs> Thank you! You can't be running away like that. You can't fool me with those kitten eyes. Something is weird. She's not the same as she is in school. She's not even treating me like I'm her classmate. Wait, does she not even remember me? No way. I literally sit next to her. I'd cry if she doesn't remember me. Um... Huh? I'm gonna go now. Thank you for taking care of me, Chan. She left after saying that. Hmm... I guess that is her, short and simple. She's probably a little nicer because there was a kitten. Dang it. I missed a good chance to get along with her. At least Shirasakura and the kitten are happy though. Actually, I guess the kitten is still being taken to the hospital, so maybe it's still upset. I felt like I've missed a chance, but was happy overall that nothing went wrong. Hey. Huh? Shirasakura is talking to me? Thank you for yesterday. Oh, that was Shirasakura. I'm surprised she remembered. You saved me, right? Uh, yeah. I gave up when she ran away, so you really saved the day. I'm pretty sure you were trying pretty hard to find her. That's all. Uh... She's still really quiet. But 
I guess it's progress because she's not being rude. Oh, don't act all friendly with me because of that, though. I'm not friends with you. Never mind. We had made no progress. Uh, it probably is impossible to get along with her. After school the next day... Huh? Did mom order something in the mail? Who is it? Wait, what? Oh, hi! Shirasakura? Yeah? Wait, did I tell you my name? You're my classmate. So, uh, what's up? Oh, I brought something as a thank you for last time. Really? Thanks. What a surprise. I never knew Shirasakura could be so kind. Also, <laughs> the kitten wanted to see you. <laughs> no way. Meow. Wait, seriously? It was almost like the kitten raised its paw up and said, Hey, it caught me off guard. Whoa, you know what cats are saying? Huh? <laughs> no. I just noticed more meowing from yesterday, so I figured it wanted to say something to you. Oh, uh... Who is this? She's adorable. Her smile is incredible. Is something wrong? Oh, uh... You carry your kitten without putting it in a carrier? Yeah, it seems to get scared and freak out when I put it in a carrier. When I carry it, though, it seems to calm down. But it did run away as a result when we got to the hospital. Is she a little slow? Whatever, she's cute. I guess I'll be leaving now. Meow! Meow, meow, meow! I guess she wants to play with you. Oh, uh, do you want to come inside? I just walked into that one. There's no way someone like Shirasakura would ever agree. I checked Shirasakura's reaction. Okay, sure. Thank you. And then, she actually said okay. As we moved to my room, the kitten jumped out of our arms and into my lap. She really likes you, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe she's just interested in new things. She's usually pretty cautious when it comes to new people, though. You must be a nice person if animals like you. Hmm? Is she really slow? She must be joking. More importantly, why is she so different from when she's in school? Michon, are you having fun? Meow! Aw, that's good. She's so sweet to this kitten. We talked about nothing while playing around with the kitten. Surprisingly, she's interested in manga and anime, just like me. The conversation was easygoing. It was all almost like a dream. That's why I... Good morning, Shirasakura! Said good morning to her with high hopes. Huh? But all I got is a glare. Uh, huh? Didn't I tell you not to be all friendly with me? Uh, yeah, about that. There won't be a next time. What? What happened? Was everything a lie yesterday? Was I just in a dream? But I remember it all. Especially about the kitten. Man, you're really a trooper, aren't you, Haruto? You probably haven't talked to her like that since the start of school. But that reaction from Shirasakura, what's going on? Hey, Haruto, are you listening? You're going to make me cry just ignoring me. I'm going to check the room when I get home. If it wasn't a dream, there should be at least some kitten fur. Oh, there was definitely kitten fur, so I was not dreaming. There was definite proof that I was not dreaming. So, what was that attitude at school? Maybe... Oh, it would be you. Sorry to bother you two days in a row. Oh, uh, it's okay. What's up? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to play with it today, too. Huh? What is going on? She was mean at school. I don't understand what's going on. I was confused, but I couldn't tell her no. To be honest, I didn't want to tell her no. She came up to my room. So the kitten, Mi-chan, wanted to play today, too? Oh, yes. Meow? Meow? The cat's acting pretty confused. You wanted to come by right, Mi-chan? Why aren't you listening to me, Mi-chan? That's strange. Shirasakura is acting nervous. Is her face red? Maybe. I'm gonna go grab something to drink, okay? I thought of the possibilities, but figured it would be best left alone. Afterwards, we talked about manga and anime, just like yesterday. I actually realized that she was more knowledgeable in anime and manga than I was. She was so passionate that I could even call her a nerd. I was so confused between the gap between her at school and here. After that, Shirasakura showed up at my house almost every day, and yet, she got colder and colder at school. It was to the point where she would intentionally talk to me so she could be cold. Maybe she's hiding her feelings because she's shy? If that was the case, she must be an extremely shy person. 
This kind of back and forth continued for about a month. Um, Shirasakura, I have something important I want to tell you. I couldn't hold back the feelings I had for Shirasakura. I decided I was going to tell her how I felt. I don't know why she's like that at school. I believe that the real her is the person I see after school. Oh, yes? I, uh, I actually am... How typical. I'll be right back, okay? Oh, sure. <sighs> Who could it be? This is the worst timing ever. Hello? What? As I opened the door, I couldn't believe my eyes. Why is she here? Hello? W why are you here? You're supposed to be in my room. I knew you didn't figure it out. My twin sister is in your room right now. Twin? Sister? I don't blame you. We look identical. What? What is going on? Basically... Uh, sister? Why are you here? Maria, I'm here to make things clear. Make things clear? I was confused as to what she meant, but I was more confused by the fact that I had two Shirasakuras around me. The girl that was in my room was Maria, and the girl that was in front of me is my classmate. I was pretty troubled up until today. I thought it would be fine if you two got along and I just kept my mouth shut. But if you found out, I didn't want to take the chance that I could cause problems. That's why I wanted to sort it out before it got too serious. So, was Maria pretending to be Aria? Not exactly. Maria had no intention of pretending to be me. One coincidence after another and you were just mistaken. Maria never did actually tell me that she was my classmate. She's not wrong that it's simply my mistake. But you knew about the cat that was in my yard? If that wasn't you, how did you know about the kitten? Because I was there too. Huh? I was looking for me that day with her. Maria just talked to you while I hid behind the grass. Why? I don't like talking. Hmm. Anyway, that's why you were mistaken. Then Maria didn't know that you were mistaken but kept hanging out with you anyway. Then why didn't you tell me or Maria something? I talked to Maria when I realized she was hanging out with you. But she's pretty shy, so she couldn't figure out how to tell you. Why? Figure it out, stupid. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it just came out. That's not really an apology. But, but couldn't you have said something to me? Why would I be able to tell you something when my sister couldn't even tell you? Plus, I wanted to judge you. Judge me? Exactly. You were nice to me even though I kept acting cold towards you. Plus, I knew what kind of person you were too, so I decided it would be okay to come talk to you today. I know I'm being kind of selfish, but Maria's my little sister, so I needed to take care of her. I didn't know you had a soft side. Shut up, stupid. S sorry That all I have to say. I know you might be a little confused with how sudden things are, but Maria's to blame, so get mad at her. If you want to complain, I'll listen to you at school tomorrow. I don't have complaints. Okay, good. I do have one question, though. Hmm? What is it? Did I show up at the worst timing or something? Huh? Why? I don't know if you'll believe me, but... Maybe it's because we're twins, but I can kind of tell by Marie's behavior. Really? Um, no. Everything is okay. Don't worry about it. Okay then. Good luck. She left the room in a hurry after telling me that. Um, I'm sorry. I think I've been mistaken about something. Uh, I'm so sorry! Huh? I'm the worst. I know you were mistaking me for her and I didn't say anything. But I didn't mean to trick you, Haruto! It's okay. Naimon. I was kind of surprised, but it makes more sense now to be honest. I was so confused at the difference between you here and you at school, so... Now I can tell you without being too worried. Shirasakura. Uh, no, Maria. I like you. Will you please go out with me? Y you're okay with that? Not my sister? I like you, Maria. I didn't fall for the girl at school. I fell for the girl that came over to my house. <laughs> I'm so happy! I couldn't stop thinking about you since I came over the first time. So I was always afraid that maybe you'd be less interested in me since I wasn't my sister. And yet you chose me, even after you found out. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. So, I take that as a yes? Yes, please. Let me be your girlfriend. And the rest was history. Apparently, Maria has gone to female-only schools. And I was the first boy she really interacted with. After meeting me and having a lot of fun, she felt destiny. I knew I would try to make this girl as happy as I possibly could.
Apparently, Arya also went to a female-only school until middle school. That explained why she wasn't very good at talking to boys in school. I'll wash your back. I was just thinking that we could have a good time washing each other's backs like brothers. Ah! <laughs> Be careful! Huh? My brother slipped on soap and hugged me. Why is my brother so soft? I'm Ryota Majima. I'm in my second year at high school. The summer vacation that I have long waited for will start soon. But I don't have a girlfriend or anything, so I was planning to stay home and do nothing. Just then, my father said something that changed everything. I want to get remarried. But what do you think? Remarried, huh? What? You're getting remarried? Are you serious? His partner is a person from work. They both had a divorce once and they have a lot in common. Wait, does that mean that I get a sibling? Yeah, one year younger than you. Great! Well done, Dad! I felt lonely being an only child, so I was excited to hear that I was getting siblings. Of course, I'm all for my dad getting remarried. We arranged a dinner to meet the family. I don't need to get along. I just don't mind Mom getting remarried. <laughs> my stepmom, Miyuki, seemed like a very kind person, but her son, Akira, seemed kind of unfriendly. He had a very pretty face, so it made everything worse. Hey, Akira. Akira, when scolded by Miyuki, pouted like a child and was a little bit cute. As I was looking at him, he gave me a glare. It did get a little awkward at points, but things went rather smoothly, and we were able to decide on the move-in dates. They were moving during the summer vacation, and I was a little excited for it. On the way home that day... Hey Dad, I think Akira doesn't like me. Well, that can't be helped. Miyuki's ex-husband gave them a very hard time, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were afraid of men in general. I see, so I should be super kind so he can open up to me. The summer vacation started, and they moved in. We spent a lot of time together as a family, but Akira would go back to his room very often. Now that we are a family, and I'm the older brother, I should be the one to show how things are done. Hey, Akira! Let's play games together! No thanks. Oh, come on, why not? What? It was a little one-sided, but I started to interact with Akira. And Akira slowly started to show happiness in his expressions. What? Can you not stare at my face? Well, I think you look so much better when you smile. I bet people find you more attractive that way. Stop it! It's embarrassing. By the middle of the summer vacation, we were having lots of fun together. One day, when I was going outside with Akira... Ah! I got you! When I caught Akira, who almost fell over, I felt something soft. Did you gain weight? Uh, how insensitive! I did think it was a little strange, but I didn't think much of it and went out with Akira. I've always thought, but can't you do something about those baggy clothes? Wh what's wrong with that? This is comfy. It's such a waste, though. It's not attractive. I don't care. I did feel bad for touching on a subject that got on his nerves, but I did want him to be a little more fashionable. Although, I'm not the one to talk. A few days later... Akira, let's bathe together. What? Why are you so surprised? Isn't it normal for brothers to take a bath together? Well, don't you think it's wrong now that we're in high school? What's so wrong about it? It's what they call naked brotherhood. I mean, I want to get to know you more, so... So we decided to bathe together, but it took a long time for Akira to show up. I'm ready. Come in whenever you're ready. C can I come in? At last. Okay then, can you wash my back? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll wash your back. Hey, why are you being so soft? You need to do it stronger. Ah! <laughs> Be careful, huh? Akira slipped on soap and hugged me. His soft body was pressed against my back. I saw Akira hugging me through the misty reflection of the mirror. Akira had a towel wrapped around his body. I know this is like super late to ask, but are you a girl, Akira? Yeah. Holy shit. I thought he was my brother, but in fact, she was my sister! I hurried and asked my parents, and then... They were surprised at how I didn't realize this. It is super late, but now that I think about it, there were many occasions where I could have realized. I later learned from Miyuki that Akira spoke like a boy since she was little, and even the name Akira is usually a boy's name. How confusing. But I completely believed that Akira was a boy, and completely ignored the signs! Bro, about earlier... Oh, no, 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 my bad. It's all my fault. You don't have to worry about it. Bro. Things just became awkward, and I started to avoid Akira. 
but it's not that I don't like her. I feel like I'm doing something wrong when I think that she's a cute, beautiful girl. The summer break ended, and it was the first day of the new semester. Akira, in her new school uniform, was nothing but a cute girl. I feel weirdly excited when I think about the fact that I lived in the same house for a month with this cute girl. What do you think? Well, it's... all right. I need to see her as family, as a sister. I hated myself for avoiding her and being unfriendly because I shouldn't be looking at her as female. But because it was her first day at this school, I went to school with her. I was walking with a cute girl. She caught the eyes of many guys, and they would stop and take a look at her. She's really cute! Is she a model? She has perfect proportions! Stop looking at my sister like that! Was it because she is my sister? I knew very well that that was not the only reason I was mad. After school that day, she was surrounded by several guys in front of the school gate. You're the new girl, right? What's your name? Um... You're really cute. You have a boyfriend? Well, Irv... Uh... So many guys like her from day one. Well, she is cute, so I guess it can't be helped. Come on, Akira. We're going home. Huh? I ignored what Akira was saying and grabbed her by the arm. Um, uh, my arm. Oh, um, sorry about that. I thought you were troubled. It got awkward. I didn't know what to do. Since that day, Akira was behaving strangely. She would only wear baggy clothes, but she started to wear feminine clothes, and she wore clothes that showed a lot of skin after she showered. But above all... Hey bro, let's play games together. Whoa, hey, d don't hug me by surprise. Akira's skinship increased, and I didn't know what to do about it. Although, it was me who started the skinship thing. Days like that continued. One day, when I was going home from school, I saw Akira arguing with a scary looking man. Let go of me! No! Come with me! Akira's going to be kidnapped! My body knew what to do. Hey, you! Huh? What do you want? Oh my god, he is so scary. I stepped back for a moment, but I told myself that I could do it and stepped in between Akira and the man. Do you have a problem? Who the hell are you? Her boyfriend or something? No, she is my sister! What? Sister? Yes. You dare lay a single finger on my precious sister? I will never forgive you! I said it, and I meant it, but my knees were shaking. The next moment, the man opened his eyes widely and... <laughs> All right! So you're her brother! <laughs> he laughed so much that I almost fell to the ground. Hey, Dad. Huh? Dad? I'm so sorry, I didn't laugh at you. I was happy, you know. Can you let go of me now? Oh, um, me too. I seem to have misunderstood. Apparently, Akira's father came out of a facility recently. He was worried about his daughter, so he went to her school and found lots of guys hitting on her, so he got mad. The guys who were hitting on her disappeared as soon as her dad showed up. I see, I see. I wouldn't have to worry about anything if this kid is Akira's brother. I mean, you did grab me by my chest, didn't you? I'm so sorry. Hey, Dad, don't scare my brother. Well, I... I didn't do such a thing. Akira doesn't seem scared of her at all, probably because he is her real father. Besides, he doesn't seem like a bad person. But I can leave Akira in your care, kid. Huh? I'm relieved that she has someone close who really cares for her. I want you to protect her. Yes, I will! <sighs> huh? Oh, I see. Hey, kid. What is it? Don't make Akira cry. I want you to protect her with your life. This is a man's promise. Can you do it? Yes! Akira's father left with a smile on his face. He was so scary. Akira suddenly hugged me from behind. Bro. What is it? Thanks for protecting me. You were so brave and cool. It... it's alright. I went home with Akira that day. It felt like something that had been troubling us was gone. After that incident, we became friendly again, but... Akira, are you sure you're okay with it? Yeah! Come on! We now had a secret that we would not be able to tell our parents. In a few years, we will not be siblings anymore. But that is another story to tell. Hey, you! No, Akira! It's not what you think! Oh, yeah? Explain yourself then! Oh, Akira, what are you so mad about? You too, Mom! 
This was my sister-in-law, Akira. For some reason, she was really mad at us. I'm Ryota Majima. I'm in 11th grade. At the beginning of July, my dad told me he was getting remarried. I was getting a new mom and a sister. Nice to meet you. I'm Miyuki. Hi. Nice to meet you. This was my stepmom, Miyuki. She was a really beautiful woman. She was a makeup artist. I heard she did makeup for a lot of celebrities. And Akira was her daughter. We're not friends, okay? I'm happy for mom, but... As you can see here... She wasn't the most friendly person in the world, and her hair was pretty short, so it felt like she was my little brother. I honestly thought she was a boy when I first met her. Anyways, now I had a sister. It was unreal. Hey, Akira! Wanna play video games together? No. Oh, come on! Get off me! Come on! We're family now! I'm a girl! Huh? Ah, fine. Whatever. What's that supposed to mean? I knew she was a girl, but still... I treated her like a little brother. Ah, gotta pee. What the? Hey! Oh, Akira! My bad! I guess you really are a girl, Akira! I've been saying that since the beginning. Get out of here! So, yeah, Akira was a girl, all right. Things were kind of awkward at first, but we were starting to get along after a few months. Rota, let's play video games. Sorry, I'm going out shopping with Mom. Huh? I've always wanted a son to go shopping with. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that necessary? Ah, Akira, later. Be good, Akira. Oh, Ryota, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> what the? Ugh, get a room. Then Akira started acting all strange. She started dressing up like a girl in the house. She wore skimpy outfits after getting out of the shower. Also... Ryota, let's play video games together. Wow, hey! Don't jump on me like that! What? You always did it to me. That was before Akira started getting really touchy. I wasn't used to girls, so I didn't know what to do. Then one evening, she crawled into my bed. Uh, Akira? Why do you want to sleep in the same room as me all of a sudden? I've always been an only child. I've always wanted to do this. Okay... But you're my stepsister, and we're both in high school already. So what? What do you mean, so what? It's not fair. Huh? We never get to do what I want. You're my big brother, Ryota. You've got to look after me. Uh, what do you mean? I'm always looking out for you. That's not what I mean. Whatever, forget it. What was she talking about? Hey, Ryota. What? Put your arm under my head. Why? This pillow is too low, that's all. Oh, okay. I put my arm under her head. Wait, I've never been in bed with a girl before. I wonder what she's thinking about right now. Ah, uh, his arms. Oh, this is exciting. I really like Rota. He was so nice and reliable, and he's always looking after me. Honestly, I'm glad he wasn't my real brother because... Uh, I can't take it anymore! Hey, Vyota, you still up? Uh, he's already asleep. Uh, how can he just fall asleep like that? Careful with the hammer. I was in love with him. But I don't think he knew that. He was so slow. Will he ever notice? Vyota, I... Good night. I'm sure he'll realize one day. Maybe I'll just have to tell him. But it wasn't the right timing. I'll just have to wait and see. Uh, can't sleep. I was just pretending to be asleep, but I don't think she noticed. Anyways... What was she about to say just now? <sighs> just look at her. Ah, uh, I was her big brother. But still, seeing her sleeping next to me like this... No! Come on, snap out of it! Akira was still asleep when I woke up the next morning. My arm was numb. Akira, 
You're my stepsister, but you're too pretty. What am I supposed to do? Something has to change. But what? At first, I was really glad we were getting along so well. But that was only because she was like a little brother to me. But now, I wasn't sure. Am I starting to have feelings for her? No, I'm still her big brother. I gotta snap out of it. I decided to take a shower to clear my head. Ah, time to shower. Oh, Yota. What? Miyuki? I ran into Miyuki in the shower room. Hey, I'm sorry, I... You want to take a shower? You can join me if you want. I don't mind. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, what? Did I hear that right? Vyota, hurry up. I want to shower too. Akira? Hey, Akira. Want to join us? But it might be too small for all three of us. Now I had some explaining to do. Ryota, why are you hopping in the shower with mom? No, it's not like that. See... What do you mean? See, I had no idea she was here and... Yeah, but he asked me if he can join me and... <laughs> What? No, I didn't! Stop joking around! You serious, Rota? I think Miyuki was enjoying this! Just remember to knock first from now on, got it? Okay. And Mom! Stop messing with him! Huh? Oh, I really thought it would be a good idea. Wait, what? He's family, so families take baths together all the time, right? You went to the bathhouse with Taichi the other day, Rota. What? That's because he's my dad! Oh, loosen up. I know, Akira. Take a bath with Ryota. Uh, uh -huh. It'll bring you two closer. What? Mom! No! Ugh, what's wrong with you, Ryota? Sorry. Don't you ever knock? They're a woman in this house, you know! I'm not used to this. Oh, boy. And what would your dad think? True. He'd flip out if I told him I hopped in the tub with Miyuki. But what about Akira? No, what am I thinking about? Ryota, do you ever know why I'm mad? Huh? You were just worried about your mom, right? I said I'm sorry. No! Huh? Is it because I didn't knock? No! Ugh, you just don't get it! Huh? Why is she so mad? You just gotta be more careful, okay? Huh? Yeah, I know, but... But what? You like mom more than me. Huh? What are you saying? You're always staring at her. You think I didn't notice? Stop cheating on me! Huh? That's not true! And what do you mean by cheating on you? You were never serious about me. We took baths together. We even slept in the same bed. Yeah, but nothing happened! Just stop flirting with my mom, okay? I wasn't flirting with her. You got me, okay? Huh? Uh... I'm a girl too! Treat me like one! But I mean, you're my sister and all, so... Stop making excuses! I know, I'm just too young for you. That's it, isn't it? Fine then. I'll show you! I'm not a kid anymore! Whoa! Put your clothes back on! No! Not unless you stop treating me like a kid! Okay, fine, fine! You're a grown woman, Akira! You mean it? Yes, so please, put your clothes back on! If you had to go out with Mom or me, who would you pick? Huh? Uh... Just answer the question. Well, uh... Well, what? I mean, if we weren't family, I guess I'd choose you, Akira. Yeah? Yay! Whoa! Put your shirt back on! <laughs> oh, relax. Hey, Akira! Your chest! Stop! Get off me! She finally stopped being mad at me. I still wasn't sure why she was so mad, though. Oh, well. I felt closer to her, now more than ever. Still, I was her big brother. This wasn't going to be easy. Then, a few days later, I was chilling in my room when... Ryota, can you come downstairs? Miyuki told me to come downstairs. Huh? Uh... What do you think? I got a friend to help me with the outfit. Look, I even taught her how to put on makeup. I was speechless. 
She looked shy, but she was so pretty. The clothes, the makeup, it was just perfect. I've never seen Akira like this before. Where am I supposed to take her? Miyuki told us to go outside, so we did. But we had no idea what to do. Akira didn't say a single word. Akira was the shy type to begin with. Whenever we were outside, she was always like this. It was her outside face. Hey, slow down. Sorry, I'm so nervous. What are we supposed to talk about? Hey, look. Huh? A cafe? What about it? Let's grab some coffee or something. Oh, okay. Sure. Cool. Then I realized I should have dressed better. Maybe Akira was embarrassed to be seen with me. When we walked into the cafe, people stared at her. She's so pretty. Is she a model or something? <laughs> a lucky guy. I'm just her big brother. Uh, I'll take some coffee. What about you, Akira? Uh, coffee with milk, please. All right. Hey, can you let go of my arm? Can't grab my wallet. Sorry. After we got our drinks, we walked over to our table. We went to the corner of the room for some privacy. The table had a sofa and a wooden chair. I tried to sit on the chair, but... Sit next to me. Oh, okay. Feels like I'm on a date or something. What? I'm your big brother! She was like a completely different person. I didn't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Anyways, we finished our drinks and came home. Mom, it was so exciting! He sat next to me and everything! What?! Akira, stop! Good for you, Akira. Ryota, maybe you can take me out on a date too sometime. No! I was talking to Ryota, Akira. <laughs> I said no! Hey now! A date? I was starting to panic. I'm sure she was just teasing me though. But I would soon find out that she wasn't. Due to my father's marriage, I have a new stepsister. But she's more like a little brother. Brother, I'm getting fed up of reading manga. Okay, will we play a game then? Her name is Akira, and she's in her first year of high school. She looks like a pretty boy, but she's a proper girl. We have similar hobbies and spend our time together on weekends. On that day, we were together as usual. Hey, brother. Hmm? What's up? Brother, why don't we do some physical activity for once in a while? Namely what? <laughs> that will be blindfold hide and seek. Blindfold hide and seek? What's that? The seeker gets blindfolded when they seek for the other person. Sounds fun, right? Uh, sounds tiring. Come on, let's do it. I wanted to try this game with you. Oh, okay. I lost rock, paper, scissors. Akira gave me a sleeping mask to put on. However... What is this? I can't see anything! It's pitch black! Um... I think this is impossible to find you if you keep moving around. It'll be fine. The rules include the hider to not be able to move after they hide. I was searching the second floor while Akira was hiding downstairs. He must be searching upstairs. I'm right here, brother. Someone's here. Is it a package? Oh, it's you, Hinata. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? We promised to go out together today. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Come on. She is Hinata Ueda, a classmate of Akira and a good friend of hers. In fact, her older brother is one of my friends, and I've known her since I was in third grade. She's also a beauty. She has an energetic personality, and she's good at everything. By coincidence, Akira was transferred into Hinata-chan's class, and they became friends. Sorry about that. I'll get ready, so could you wait in my room upstairs? I'll bring you a drink. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you. Even if you see something weird going on, just ignore it, okay? Huh? Something weird? Right at that moment... The weird thing was searching around his parents' bedroom, not knowing that Hinata-chan had paid a visit. I can't find her at all. This is impossible. It's been a while since I came to this room. I remember helping out cleaning it up before she moved in. 
I wonder if Ryota Senpai is at home today. M maybe I should say hi to him. Ryota Senpai. I'd like to see him. Akira! Are you in this room? Ah! R Ryota Senpai! Hmm? I sent someone there. You must be in here! What's he doing? Is this the weird thing Akira was talking about? Follow the rules. You're not allowed to move! Could this be blindfold hide and seek? Was Ryota Senpai playing that game with Akira? I mean, are these two always playing these kinds of games? They really were. Right here! Oh! So he does hug her tight like that. Do they always do this? Hmm? Akira? Since when have you gotten so hairy? Oh. It's just a stuffed animal. Oh, what should I do? He hasn't realized that I'm here. Wait a minute. Isn't this a chance to make him hug me? That's weird. I sent someone there. Akira is still not here. Okay. Hmm? Are you there? Even if he doesn't mean it. If he's going to hug me... Now don't you move. Come and get me, senpai. Got you! Uh, oh, it's just the shoulders. Ha <laughs> ha! Your brother's got superpowers! I thought he would go for a bigger hug. Hinata-chan, I brought you a drink! Uh-huh! Huh? I hear Akira's voice from behind. Yikes! Akira? Hinata-chan? Huh? What? Whoa! <laughs> Hinata-chan! Uh, uh, Ryota-senpai, nice to see you. Why is Hinata-chan in Akira's room? Brother, why are you being lovey-dovey with someone else in my room? No, we weren't doing anything. I was blindfolded, so I didn't know Hinata-chan was here. Exactly, it was pure coincidence. You scum! You've mistaken Hinata-chan for me and hugged her tight? H hug I didn't hug her! Akira, you came up with this idea, and you probably forgot that we were even playing the game! You definitely knew it was Hinata-chan. I was blindfolded! How could I? Um, could you two please calm down? Eventually. So why are you here, Hinata-chan? going out today. You forgot about your promise with her and started this blindfold hide-and-seek game? Uh, sorry about that, Hinata-chan. I know you're not the neat and tidy type, but you need to keep your promises with your friends. You don't have to put it that way. I've already forgiven her for that. I'm going to get changed. Get out of here! All right, all right. Are you fine, Akira? Don't you want to become friends with him again? I couldn't help it. Now he must hate me. I got angry just because I was jealous. I'm the one to be blamed. I don't think he hates you. Why don't you get him a present when we go shopping together? Th that's a great idea. I'll properly apologize to him then. <sighs> I went too far. Mixing up Hinata-chan with Akira. But why didn't Hinata-chan say anything when I hailed her shoulders? I shouldn't have been so harsh on Akira anyway. I wonder if she'll forgive me. Oh, I remember she said she wanted something the last time we went out together. If I could get her that, it might put her in a better mood. Okay, I'm going to go and buy that. I'm home! I don't see their shoes. They must still be outside. It's boring to just give her the present. I'm going to prank her! I sneaked into Akira's closet to surprise her. When she steps into the room, I'm going to jump out. After I surprise her, I'll make up by handing her the present. I must say myself, this is a perfect plan. Are you surprised? This is a present for you. Whoa! Thank you, brother. He must be in his room. There she is. Great timing. Let's do this. It's quiet. He might be asleep. Huh? Hinata-chan? The clothes we got are so cute. Let's try them on. 
What? Oh no! Two girls are getting dressed in the room I'm in! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Wow, Hinata-chan! You've grown again! But you have such a nice figure, Akira! I'm envious! Not at all. I still don't look like a matured woman. Oh no! I shouldn't be listening to this! But I'm so curious! By the way, Akira, why did you want me to choose your clothes today? Well, well it seems like my brother doesn't view me as a girl. You're a beauty, and you always have cute clothes on. I wanted to learn from you. Huh? Could that mean you have feelings for Ryota Senpai? N no, I'm just upset that he treats me like his little brother. Uh, yeah, it would be pretty weird to feel that way, because you two are siblings. Yeah, of course. What are you even talking about? All right, I'll try on some other clothes. That was close. Hinata-chan was about to find out my true feelings. I have some clothes in here that Mom gave to me. Oh! Uh... Sup, Akira? Brother? Huh? Ah! Ryota-senpai, why are you in there? H hinata chan this was just a little surprise. Y you've got me wrong. Brother? Sorry, I'm so sorry. There are good reasons for this. There isn't a single reason to sneak into your sister's room and hide in the closet! No! It was supposed to be a surprise! Anyway, I didn't see anything! Shut up and get out! Sorry! As expected, once they got dressed, it was time for me to explain myself. And that was my plan, to play a prank on you. I wasn't trying to look at you getting dressed. I'm so sorry! But I didn't see anything, nor did I hear anything! I it's the truth! Akira... Senpai is saying so. Why don't we give him the benefit of the doubt? Ugh! Huh. Oh no. This time I might have really screwed up! And without making any amends with Akira, I brought Hinata to the station! I'm really sorry for everything that happened today. It's alright. You don't need to worry about anything, Ryota Senpai. <sighs> I wonder why I always screw things up. Everyone makes mistakes. You'll get over this. But I'm jealous of Akira. Huh? She has such a fun Oni-chan like you, Ryota-senpai. My Oni-chan is so clumsy. I'm also clumsy. I don't know how many times I made Akira mad today. She must really hate me now. It's just temporary. You'll be friendly to each other again in no time. You think so? <laughs> you know, Akira often talks about you at school. Huh? Really? I feel a little embarrassed. She really loves you. Love? That means as a sibling, right? Um, so how do you feel about Akira? Huh? How do I feel about her? Do you love her? <gasps> it is true that I have special feelings for her. She is like a little brother to me. But at the same time, my heart starts thumping when I'm with her. But if I said that I love her, that would change our relationship as siblings. Therefore, I... I love her. We're family. Is that so? So, you don't have a crush on anyone? Um, I probably don't. So, if some girl said to you that she liked you, would you date her? Uh, um... Sorry, I just wanted to check something with you. Check? Check what? Nothing. Thanks for walking me to the station. Bye! Oh, okay. Bye. I couldn't understand what Hinata-chan meant. But I was just relieved that she didn't notice my true feelings for Akira. I came home to see Akira sticking her face out of her room. Brother? Come over here. Huh? Oh, okay. This is a little awkward. How is this? I got this today when I went out with Hinata-chan. Uh, oh. Uh. Do you think it looks bad on me? No, that's not it. It looks great on you, Akira. R really? This is for you. Is this the necklace that I told you I wanted? This is what I was trying to give you today. Would you like to try it on? 
Yes. By the way, are you not mad at me anymore? I knew you can be clumsy at times from the beginning. I'm also sorry for losing my mind like that. Sorry for being such a clumsy brother. <laughs> How does it look on me? I... I think it's cute. Yippee! Thank you. And this is what I got for you. For me? Yes. It looks great on you. Thank you, Akira. I'll take care of this. Maybe I should have gotten a scarf for you, too. It's starting to get colder. I'll be able to have this necklace on me at all times. Is that so? I love you, brother. Hinata-chan asked me about this. But the way I feel towards Akira isn't... The next morning, we were going to school together as usual, when we met Hinata-chan on the way. Ryota-senpai, the scarf Akira chose for you looks great. Really? Thanks. By the way, what have you got from Ryota-senpai? <laughs> it's a secret. Huh? Now I'm curious. Come on, tell me what it is. While looking at the two hotties having a conversation, I was thinking about what Akira said to me last night. I love you. At this time in my life, I didn't know that Akira and I would step up our relationship and stop being mere step-siblings in the future. My parents remarried and I got a new little sister. Her name is Akira. We have similar interests and get along pleasantly. But on this day, an incident occurred that would jeopardize our relationship. Hey, big bro. You were secretly watching that video last night, weren't you? Why did you decide to watch it? That's... that's because I wanted to enhance my manhood. Just what part did you want to enhance? The more I try to explain, the more I dig myself into a hole. Anyway, why is Akira going so ballistic over this? It was two days ago that this incident got started. After school, we met up at the lockers. Hey, big bro, let's head home. Okay, but I want to stop off at the bookstore. Hey, what's that? Huh? What's this? Did someone mistake my locker with a mailbox? No way! It looks like a love letter addressed to you! What? Sure enough, the letter was addressed to Ryota Majima. No, I'm sure it's some sort of mistake. I can say this with real confidence, but it's not possible that I would be so popular with the girls. How can he say such pathetic things looking so cool and collected? So, big brother, what are you gonna do with that letter? What are you gonna do if it says, let's go study or something? Well, I read it, and even if it is a love letter, I have no intention of going steady with anybody. But why? Despite her demeanor, she is actually pretty shy. She seems very outgoing in front of me, but in front of others, she clams up. I was a bit worried about her and wanted to somehow fix her shyness. So, as her big brother, I wanted to concentrate on her. I have a great little sister, so as your big brother, I'm just worried, that's all. If you get a boyfriend or something, I may think it over, but for now, I have no intention of starting a romantic relationship. Really? What's the matter? You jerk! Don't treat me like your little sister! What? So you want me to treat you like a little brother? That's not what I'm saying! Ah. You schmuck! Wait a sec. Huh? Did I say something wrong? It's been several months that we've been living together, but I'm still trying to work things out between us. I'm really in a jam here. My big brother only sees me as a helpless little sister. The only person I can get any advice from is my father, who lives quite far away. I decided to give him a call. Hey, Dad. Sorry to call so suddenly. Don't worry about it. What's up? Actually, I'm having some relationship problems and things are that great with my big brother. I really like him, but he doesn't seem too interested. Akira, so you're saying you like him? You have affection for Ryota? Huh? <laughs> Why am I discussing this with my father? <laughs> Sorry to call you at work. That good for nothing. I told him not to sadden Akira. Mr. Takaru, we got the next scene set up. Mr. Takaru! I had no inkling of what was going on behind the scenes and was headed home after school. Hmm... I haven't had a chance to speak with Akira since that time. I wonder why she was so angry. Hey, punk! How could you put poor old Akira through so much sadness? What? Uh, Mr. Takeru, why are you so pissed off? This guy who suddenly started yelling at me was none other than Akira's dad, Takeru. Despite his appearance, he's an actor. 
At a nearby park, I explained the whole situation to Mr. Takeru. So that's the gist of the whole affair. I really don't know what's up with her. Boy, when you have zero experience with women, this is what you get. Why am I getting the short end of the stick? Since you're so inexperienced with girls, take this. Huh? What is this? You dimwit, don't open it here. What? Is this something I can't open in a public park? Listen up. This is something you need if you're going to get along with Akira. Use it to enhance your manliness. I enhance my manliness, sir? Don't let Akira find out and don't ever say you got it from me. So it seems I got some sort of suspicious item from Akira's dad. So I cautiously made my way back home. Hey, brother. A bit late, huh? Akira, you seem pretty calm after... Did you stop off somewhere? Or were you meeting someone? No, not really. What's this weird response? Nothing, really. Believe me. Mm. What's that in your hand? Oh, it's nothing, really. Mm. Seems a bit suspicious. Suspicious? What are you talking about? Almost got caught at the entrance, but I was somehow able to get through without incident. That evening in my room after everyone was asleep, I sat and opened the package that Akira's dad gave me. What is this? A DVD? No label, huh? Holy crap, is this what I think it is? Seems as if Akira's room is quiet and she's fast asleep. Okay, Mr. Takeru, time to enhance my manliness. I set the DVD and began watching the content. Welcome to Doki Doki Maid Cafe. Oh, just as I thought. It's that maid theme stuff. Mr. Takeru's got nice taste. These are times I really appreciate whoever invented the earphones. But, that's strange. It's been 15 minutes since starting the vid. It should be about time that the main show begins, but... I was a bit impatient and pressed the fast forward button, but it turned out to be a comedy drama about a girl working at a maid cafe. Turns out it was just a copy of a late night TV program. What is this? Boy, he really hoodwinked me. How am I supposed to enhance my manliness with this crap? This is what I need to better get along with Akira? Makes no sense. I felt kind of sad after that and quickly fell asleep. That night I was in bed doing the usual SNS stuff when... Please hey, sir, don't! Was that a girl's voice from Ryota's room? I cautiously headed towards my brother's room, but... Oh, he's fast asleep. Please, manager! Please don't go any further! Come on! Don't pee that way! <laughs> what is this? What the hell was he watching? Please, manager! Don't put so much ketchup on it, please! Ha ha ha! This is gonna be yummy! Yeah, yum yum yum! That's a maid's job! This is that late night TV program that dad was in. Ryoto was watching the old TV program that dad was in. Anyway, what did he have in mind watching this stuff? I wonder if he just wants to know more about my dad? Or is he just a maid fan? And that's when it hit me. I remember when during the school festival, I was dressed as a maid, and he looked really uncomfortable. And then, late at night, he wears earphones and secretly watches the maid video? So that means my big brother is... It's the only reason! The next morning, I woke up and found I had fallen asleep on the floor. I must have fallen asleep. A blanket was over me, but I guess I must have pulled it over myself during the night. I made my way to the living room. Good morning, master. Gah! Akira! Why are you dressed that way? There before me stood a maid. N no I mean Akira, dressed as a maid! I just thought you'd like this kind of stuff. I- I don't dislike it, but I- It's embarrassing! Stop staring! S sorry! And on the other hand, look more closely! Which is it? I can't understand. Why is she dressed as a maid so early in the morning? He's blushing. I knew he liked maids. Oh boy, what now? Well, that certainly worked. That's the costume you wore at the school event, right? Why do you still have that? It was given to me, but I didn't really have a chance to wear it. A chance to wear it? The timing does not seem appropriate, though. By the way, where are Dad and Miyuki? The two of them took off early in the morning and said they would be back late tonight. I see. So that means the two of us are all alone today. I don't think they will be back anytime soon. I thought we should make some coffee, relax, and think this out. 
Hey, Akira, how much longer are you going to wear that thing? You don't like it? It's not that, it just seems a bit weird, you know? I took the time to put it on, so let me just wear it until noon at least. Yeah, okay, no problem. But if the neighbors get a glimpse of this, I'll never hear the end of it. What's with this guy? I put this on because you love the maid thing so much. Could be a bit happier about it. We got back to a normal routine, but... Come on, bro, you screwed up again! Sorry. I was so distracted by your clothes I couldn't concentrate. Then at noon, Akira announced that she would make lunch. Akira's cooking mainly consists of just throwing anything in the fridge together and conjuring up some weird recipe. Hey, big bro, all done! Oh, yeah? Great! Your favorite, on London rice! Did you really make this? Looks good! <laughs> I've been practicing just for you. It was not the hodgepodge meal that I was expecting, but my favorite dish omelet rice. It actually looked like a piece of art. I even felt bad about digging my spoon into it for fear of destroying it. Wait, just one second before you dig in. What? I forgot one important thing. Important thing? Tell me when to stop. Yum, yum, yummy! What the hell is happening here? Isn't this where you have to pay at the end? Can I eat now? Please dig in. If you want seconds, don't hesitate to ask. Okay then, certainly looks good. Wow, this is delicious, Akira! No, oh, I'm so glad. I hadn't held a knife in a while, so... I did not have all that much confidence. Yeah, I guess you didn't use a knife all that much when cooking. After the meal, she said she wanted to change and went upstairs. Left alone in the living room, I noticed something. Last night, did Akira... Did she watch that video after I fell asleep last night? That's why she thought I liked maids. Could this be the reason why Mr. Takeru gave me that DVD? Wait one second! Why did Akira have to do the cosplay? So she misunderstood that I liked maids and dressed accordingly. Meaning she was just trying to meet my interests? Or maybe she's just kidding and simply just likes cosplay. I got changed. She's back, so maybe I'll dig in more and get some answers. Hey, Akira! As soon as I turned and saw her, I was flabbergasted. Why? Well, standing before me was Akira in a sexy Chia dress. Akira, what the hell are you wearing? This is my mom's. Why does she even have something like this? What do you think of this dress? Does it suit me? Wait a sec, why are you wearing that? Well, because it was just sitting there. What? Well, it seems Akira's really into cosplay. Please don't get too close wearing that. Please. I mean, you know... You know, never know what could happen. Huh? What do you mean? Besides, why are you blushing? She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Go and get changed right away. No, I like it just the way it is. After a while, I finally got her to change. If left like that, my self-control would have gotten the better of me, for sure. I changed just for him, and You didn't have to get so worked up. Hey, Akira, what's with you all day today? That's because... You seem a bit strange today. I mean, putting on weird clothes and doing stuff you don't usually do. Okay, then. I'll just go right out and say it. Last night, you were watching that video. Why? Well, it's because... Well, to enhance my manliness. How are you going to enhance your manliness or whatever by watching that video? I don't really know, but everything I'm doing it for you. I have no idea what you're talking about. After a while, she seemed to calm down and her expression softened. I know you're just trying to protect me, but I want our relationship to be closer, you know? We're brother and sister. We can't go any further than this. So, you want me to be your little sister from here on? Yes, I guess so. Your family, my little sister. You're the number one girl I want to protect. As your brother, I'm really worried about your well-being. I want our relationship to flourish. Akira. Akira seemed to think this over and looked up toward me with her forlorn eyes. And there is one favor I want to ask. Could you, just once, kiss me? What? Why? Please don't take me the wrong way. This is sort of practice for me. Practice for what? You said it yourself. If when I get a boyfriend, but I'm shy and I just don't have any confidence in dating anybody. So please let me practice with you. 
but we're like brother and sister. You're the only person I can ask. Please? Be my first kiss? Akira! If I allow this one kiss, I may not be able to control myself, but I was not able to refuse her wishes. Okay then, just once. Akira... Mm. Don't think this is real. I know. It's only practice. And so I proceeded to draw my face closer to hers. We're home! Whoa! <laughs> Akira, Ryota, are you guys home? Our parents came home right at the moment of truth. Things got done a bit early. What are you two doing? What were you doing? Measuring your backside? Yeah, that's right! We were just comparing the length of our torsos! Yeah, yeah, you know, longer and you have shorter legs and so forth and on. <laughs> I guess kids recently like to play these kinds of games. Although the kiss incident went somewhere, we were able to return to being on friendly terms. Regarding that DVD that Mr. Takeru gave me, I asked him about it a few days later. I guess he wanted me to see how the main character who is the idol handles various relationships. He meant to teach me how to relate to you girls, I guess. But I wish he would have explained it beforehand. A few days later. Oh yeah, about that love letter. What did you do with it? Oh, I just left it in my pocket. Boy, you're really out of it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Why don't you open it? Well, I got you, so... As a little sister... Different. It's not that. Well... Yeah, you're right. Akira insisted, so I opened the letter. Look forward to our future together, big brother. It turns out it was a letter from Akira. <laughs> it was just a surprise. So, I'm looking forward to our friendship, big bro. Akira, I can't believe you. If I wasn't her brother-in-law, would I have seen her any differently? With that in mind, we headed towards school. Nagisa Inami. She's the new girl that came into our company this year. She's friendly to anyone, and she's loved by everyone. She's like a mascot character. I, Masato Kazama, am her senpai. Matsuno senpai, your tie is wonky. I'll fix it, so lean down. Matsuno senpai, this sushimi is super good. Open up. Matsuno senpai, I just called your name. <laughs> She's like a cute idol. It's not rare for guys to hit on her when we go drinking. Even now, I just went to the convenience store for a few minutes and... Are you alone? Why don't you hang out with us? Yeah, let's go for karaoke! We could go clubbing or even go to a bar. But when she's drunk, she becomes invincible. Sorry, but I'm only interested in Matsudo-senpai. What? It's not something a person who was being hit on would say. I guess it's a privilege, but it can get troubling or embarrassing when it gets a little extreme. So, let's go to the next place, Matsuno-senpai. What do you mean, so? But... But if you leave me like this, people might hit on me again. And they might do things to me. Okay, don't get so close. I can feel it. <laughs> I love you, Matsuno Senpai! This drunk girl! Whether she's working or drinking, she's always very energetic and sweet. The Gisa Inami, the new girl, is always like that. One day, we were all giving a round of applause to Inami when work was about to finish. Congratulations on your first contract, Nagisa! Yay! Thank you so much! She's very admirable. She has fun when she has fun, and she works hard when she needs to. She set the record of the fastest contract a new employee has gotten. She's super high spec. As her advisor, I was happy for her like it was about me because I had seen her efforts so close. Matsuro senpai I got a bonus pay! Well, you deserve it. It's thanks to you for teaching me everything. I think she means it from the bottom of her heart. You came to the training seminar with me, although you were busy. You taught me my mistakes and things I didn't understand without being mean a single bit. There are too many to count every single instance you've helped me. Inami, as I slowly get closer to my 30s, I somehow cry easier. I was looking back at the time when she had just come to this company. I think she was doing the same. Inami closed her eyes and put her arms around her body. 
You taught me everything, including the time you pushed me down and was really rough with me, even though I said I didn't want to. That's a very interesting interpretation! <laughs> was it not like this? It's her habit to make jokes when things get serious. But I didn't even feel like telling her off for ruining the moment after seeing her cute little laugh. Jokes aside, though... Huh? Let me treat you with this money. But it's your money. You should use it on whatever you want. I'm going to. That's why I'm inviting you for a drink. Uh -huh. My biggest joy is going drinking with you, Matsuno-senpai. If I let my guard down, I would probably smile. Of course I'm happy. I think Inami thinks of me more than just a senpai. I won't say it out loud because it's embarrassing. How can you say such embarrassing things out loud? I could say even more embarrassing things if you want me to. You don't have to. And don't make it sound like you want to. You should be more honest. If Inami whispers something embarrassing in my ears, I would get too embarrassed and faint. I love you, senpai! I love you, 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 I love you! Ugh! Calm down, brain! So... Would you like to go for a drink tonight after we finish working overtime? My kohai was inviting me this passionately. I had no reason to refuse. Right. Then yeah, let's go. Yay! Leave the bill to me today. I don't think that bonus is big enough, though. I guess I'll secretly help her if it's not enough. Come on! Let's finish work and go drinking! Like me and my other colleagues, she's a Z-Fighter. A Z-Fighter? is the name given to the workers who work Django, or in other words, overtime. It's probably best not to ask whether she's okay with this. If she's motivated to work, it's the duty of the senpai to watch over her, so that's why. Inami! Let's go for a drink! I would rather die than become a boss who cannot be considered at all, like this person. A middle-aged guy whose head was being deforested was coming towards her and talking with a loud voice. He's our chief. Not only does he have no hair, he's super insensitive, and he has a bad reputation within the company. He's also called Monster Boss. A perverted, middle-aged man versus a new girl. All right, Nagisa. Let's go eat soup on. Let's go eat soup on hot pot. Sorry, I don't like soup on. You get really energetic if you eat soup on. I bet your boyfriend would be happier if you were energetic in bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend, so I don't need to have it. What? You don't have a boyfriend? Then I just my volunteer! Your jokes are so funny, Chief! So funny you could kill someone from laughter! <laughs> <laughs> what is this nonsense? I'm still working. Inami's skills to evade the harassment is remarkable. But the Chief just won't give up. And Nami looked like she was coming to her limits, and her face was starting to lose its smile. I'm really sorry, but I still have work to do. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have the habit of working overtime from your first year. Well, maybe, but... Listen, working overtime is proof that you are working efficiently during the day. You think that overtime means you're working hard? No, sir, no. They're working hard. That's why they're working overtime. <sighs> Inami's eyes opened widely at those offensive words. Are you saying that Matsudo-senpai and the other senpais aren't working hard? That's right! Kazama and those lot need to work harder, if you ask me! Take it back! I don't think the people who are working overtime don't work hard! If they weren't hard workers, they wouldn't work overtime in the first place! Inami, you're too young to understand! Well, I guess that can't be helped. You're only in your first year. That doesn't matter! My thought won't change regardless of the time I've been working. Okay, okay. We can have a heated discussion over dinner. I said... The chief just wouldn't listen. I would recommend him to go to the doctors to check if his brain is all right. But I can understand Inami being a little too immature. Even though she can take it in if someone says something about her, she can't when it's about others. She lacks patience. We Z-Fighters don't need to be protected by a newbie who can't even manage everything on her own in the first place. Evaluation? 
you can do better. Because I have to do better. Hey, Inami, you weren't going to throw out the work I gave you and go eat Hot Pot, were you? Senpai. Kazama! I need to help Inami because I have to do better. Because I'm her advisor. Kazama! Are you making the newbies work until late night? The chief's smile disappeared, and he started shouting at me. Don't make her do the work! Why don't you... Work hard while you're young? Huh? It's what you told me in my first year. Oh. I bet you don't remember. You probably only said it so that you could go home early. But people who receive these words will remember them. Are you telling me that what you said was a lie? What? What are you saying? Why would I lie? Work hard while you're young. I said that. Yes. Good. Your words have motivated us throughout these years, so... Us? Right, guys? I looked around at my colleagues. They probably have been preparing for this moment. That's right, Kazama. Had it not been for the Chief's words, I wouldn't have been able to make it this far. I've endured so much just to work overtime and on weekends. Me too. I don't think a Chief would just make us do all the work so he can have it easy, right? I know, right? I'm sure the Chief was trying to be strict by saying stuff like, Gen Z are useless, so that we would grow, right? If it was just an insult, it would be nothing but harassment. Let me make this clear. Z fighters are not weak. And above all, wanting to protect my little Kohai wouldn't change whether it's a nice company or an exploitive company. Yes, it's... All for you guys, not my personal benefits. This all happened because of his bad behaviors. I gave her the, you deal with annoying bosses like this, do you understand, eyes. She instantly got it. In that case, we will continue working overtime, so please go ahead and go home, Chief. Um, okay. Uh, work hard, guys. His attitude had changed 180 degrees. Because he couldn't argue, he just went back to his desk looking rather depressed and went home. It's our victory. And Nami seemed extremely pleased by it. Matsudo Senpai! Nice. I got a little excited too. I high fived Nami. The place we chose to have a drink after work was not in Izakaya. I'm on my third drink! Hey, we have work tomorrow. Slow down. I enjoy drinking with you, so I can't help it. What do you think I am? Food? Thank you for the food! Don't try to eat me! We were drinking at a park near the company. It was quite late when we finished working, so we ended up here. Sorry, we should have gone to a nice place for your celebration. Not to worry. It's not where you drink, but who you drink with. The only thing I could do seeing her innocent smile was to smile back and pretend not to be shy. But she won't pretend. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It was really nice what you did to protect me. You were really cool. What? As a reward, I'll lie down on your lap. Meow? Are you a cat? I love my owner. Cat Inami was extremely cute. She would rub her cheeks on my thigh many times. I'm throwing away my jacket and my stockings. Why do you take your clothes off when you're drunk? Because I want to fill you with my skin. Is this going to get even more extreme? You're so warm, Matsudo-senpai. Stop trying to be so cute. I'm going to hug you even harder now. I wonder how long this is going to last. What are you going to do if others saw you doing this? You'll have to hand in a written apology. That's cheap compared to the time I get to spend with you. Would you at least consider my feelings? So, you would rather hug than be hugged? Wrong answer. She would giggle lightly when I gave her a chop. I wish this would continue forever. Should I be happy as a senpai? Or should I be happy as a man? The answer was obvious. It was both. Hey, Matsudo senpai? Huh? I still need to learn many things from you, so please take care of me. Oh, okay. I'll support you until you can do everything by yourself. So don't worry. <laughs> When you say it like that, it makes me not want to learn anything. I won't go drinking with people who don't work hard. No! I'll do everything for you so you won't leave me. 
Not me! I'm talking about work! I'll do both. Doing her best in both work and love. It was something that she would say. I could tell she was serious about it. That's why I want to educate her properly as a senpai. But what about as a man? Do I even need to answer that question? Come on, Matsudo Senpai! We still have a long night! Let's drink more! Are you aware of a thing called the last train? Cheers! That's my beer! Like Inami, I want to do my best in work and love. With our own pace. <laughs> Matsudo Senpai, I love you!